IMO 2020 International Mathematical Olympiad problem number four. The problem is following. For solving problems like this, one idea or I can say the most useful idea is to consider a small example, sometimes considering special cases. Here we have n, n is greater than 1. We try to consider a small example of n, so we should start from when n equals 2, and then we can consider assumption of the problems and try to solve this problem. So let's see, when n equals 2, we have four stations with different altitudes, so without loss of generality, suppose that we have altitudes from 1 to 4. So, if k equals 2, for example, we can say that for this case, if A has two cable cores, 1 to 2, 3 to 4, and the cable cores of B, 1 to 3, 2 to 4. And we see that in A, 1 and 2 are linked, 3 and 4 are linked, and in B, 1 and 3 are linked, and 2 and 4 are linked. So, uh, we, we will see that the answer, because we want to find the smallest k, that at least two stations are both linked in A and B, so k equals 2 is not possible, because we found an example that we don't have any pair of stations that are linked in A and B, so the answer is greater than 2, so if we consider when k equals 3, so in A we have 3 cable cars, so 2, 3, and 4 are finishing points, and we know that, for example, the finishing, if 2 is finishing point of 1 cable car, then the starting point must be 1, because starting point is less than finishing points as the assumption of the problem was. So the next one if 3 is the finishing point the starting point is 2 because the problem said that 1 for example altitude 1 or station 1 can't be starting point for 2 cable cars it is at most starting point 1 cable car. So starting point cable car that its finishing point is 3 is 2 and next one is this. so A has this these cable cars and B similarly we can say has these three cable cars so in this problem the answer is 3 okay so if consider when n equals 2 we see that we divide it into two pairs so n squared 2 squared into 2 segments and we divided it in each segment we have k n altitude two altitudes or two stations now let's extend it for when n equals three we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and if we consider these stations these cable cars for a six cable cars Then we will see that if we connect B like this, these are cable cores of B 3 to 6, 6 to 9. All of them are for B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So K equals 6, and we know that in A, 1, 2, 3 are linked, 4, 5, 6 are linked, 7, 8, 9 are linked, and we know that 1, 2, 3 are not linked in B, 4, 5, 6 are not linked in B as well, and also 7, 8, 9 are, are not linked in B. So, we know that the answer is greater than 6, and now we consider or we can guess that the answer A is for n part. If we consider for general n 1 to n, n plus 1 to 2n, to the last part, let me write 
third segment. 2n plus 1, 2, 3n. And the last part is n squared minus n plus 1, 2, n squared, n. If it, I consider only these things in A and these things in B, in A again, these are in A, and also, let me erase this K from here. And if I consider in these things in A and also. If I connect the first stations of each segment to each other, first one to first one of this segment, again connect the first element of third segment, I only connect the first segment. So they are all, all in B and then we connect second segment, second segment of this and something like this, so what? In this case, k equals what? If I consider in A, we have n segments, each of them has n minus 1 uh, table cards, so A has n times n minus 1 table cards. Also for B, if we connect first element of each segment, we have n segments, so for if we connect uh, first elements of each segment, we have n minus 1 table cards, and for second one, again, a minus one cable course, and for the last one, n one, it's we have n minus one cable course. So b has again n times n minus one cable course, exactly like when n equals three. So we see that when k equals n times n minus one, we will see that we have an example that. We don't have any pair of stations that are linked both in A and B. So we conclude that the answer is greater than n times n minus 1 plus 1. And now we want to conclude that also the answer is less than or equal. This means that if we have n times n minus 1 plus 1, then the sentence of the problem will be satisfied. It means that we have at least two stations that are both linked in A and B. So let's consider that if the case that if k equals n times n minus 1 plus 1, we want to prove that, as I said, the sentence of the problem will be satisfied. So let's prove it by contradiction. Assume on contrary that there are no Two stations that pair of there, there is no pair of stations that are both linked in A and B. So if I consider the linked stations in A, so it, it, somehow we can say connected component. So each connected component is a directed path with the definition of the, with the assumption. If you consider assumption of the problem, because if it is not a directed path, each connected component, then we can say that we have something like this, but we know that each station is at most one finishing point. And also, we can say we don't have this because each station is a starting point, is at most one starting point, so we don't have this. And now we consider each component it has. A directed path, each directed edge is a cable car and each vertex is a station. So suppose that A has, for example, if I consider A1, A2, and AS, suppose that if I, we consider K cable cars of A, all of them are in A, we have S connected components. Okay, now let's find, for example, let's consider S and consider this A1, A2 to AS. We know that the number of cable cores are A1 minus 1 plus A2 minus 2 because in 
a1 is the number of cardinal a1 is the number of vertices in a1 or number of stations in a1 but now I want to uh, count the number of cable cars so we know that if they equals k and in each of them if a1 has uh, a1 vertices cardinal of a then I know that the number of edges is cardinal of a1 minus 1 and similarly we can say it for a2 to as as minus 1 and we know that a1 plus a2 to as equals n squared because all stations are in these components and minus s and k equals we know that k equals n squared minus n plus 1 so what can we conclude s equals if you take s to the right side right hand side and uh, we can cancel n squared s equals n minus 1 okay so let's see what we have here a1 to as and also if we divide if we connect if we consider connected components of b again like that if we consider t again we can conclude that the s is n minus 1 and t is n minus 1 so let's replace s and t with n minus 1 each of them has n minus 1 component connected component so here we know that if I want to, for example, suppose that A1 has something like this. These are the edges of pin A. And we know that if I want to consider, for example, the cable cores or edges, directed edges of B, if I consider them in red, each red edge um, with respect to contradiction, as assumption of the contradiction that we said we don't have any pairs that are linked in both A and B so each edge red edge is between two different components in A so now also we know that we have at most at most n minus two edges for example look if I want to consider these things in B let's see what we have b red edges here red edge here and b1 so we want to reach contradiction we can conclude that if i consider for example only red edges of b1 they are like path so from each component we have at most one vertex okay so from each one we have at most one vertex so we can say b1 is number of b1 the vertices in b1 is less than n minus 1 because from each of them if I consider only red edges in b1 and if I consider it here in whole graph from each component of a we have at most one element by assumption of the contradiction that we said that we don't have two pairs because look if we for example we have these these then these two pairs are linked in both b and a and this is contradiction so we can conclude that from each component of a we have at most one vertex so the number of vertices in b1 is at most n minus one now we can similarly we can say it for b2 to be n minus 1 so the number of vertices in b1 to be n minus 1 is at most n minus 1 times what uh, the number of them each of them is at most n minus 1 we have n minus 1 component so there are at most n minus 1 squared and also we know that b1 to b n minus 1 are n squared so we will we can conclude that n is less than n minus 1 and we've reached contradictions 